if there is a show that this guy can make an impact, uh, this is it. Because obviously it's not that deep of a lineup, and he has uh, been in that chance. top uh, in contention at the Olympia. Uh, you can, you know, he's got everything. He's got. He's made great improvements over the years. I mean, there was a time we talked about Ronnie Rockwell as a, you know, a guy in the middle of the pack, you know, towards the end. Back, he's made great buys. improvements, but he has fallen off over the last couple of shows or so. But this is his his problem right here is when he turns around. Can he be sharp enough in the back? And you can see he still doesn't have that condition. You can see he's soft through the glutes, Lance the hands, spread. the lower back. Uh, he seems to be holding a whole lot of water in his back. Um, and that's going to hurt him in this lineup. And this was a golden opportunity. But, Lane, let me let me throw this one to you. Uh, you're the resident expert on this. But um, is it just I a genetic thing that guys are holding water in a specific area? Like he, he could be sharp from the front but holding water in his back? Well, I think a lot of people, yes, yeah, to answer your question, yes. Guys Abdominal tend to hold thigh. in certain areas, you know, whether it be body fat, water, whatever have you. Uh, certain guys have certain, you know, we've seen a lot of guys who have big legs who have trouble getting them lean. Uh, we've had uh, seen guys Most like uh, Tony Freeman, when he shredded, he still doesn't have those striated glutes, you know. So, yes, it's a genetic thing, but at the same time, it's kind of the point of overcoming that and even pushing further Thank beyond you. it. Thank you.